Hello everyone, Danny here today with my niece Avelyn to talk to you about the audiobook Frozen Storybook Collection, written by the Disney Book Group and narrated by Andrew Iden. In this video, we're going to find out what Avelyn thought of the audiobook, what some of her favorite parts were, how it was structured, what she thought of the job that the narrator did. You know what narrator means? Yep. You do, Oka. Oh, she's she smart. The one who read it. Nice. Yes. Also, she will let you know if there's any parts of the book that she thinks parents should be warned about. Before we get started, though, if you love audiobooks, but you want some help picking them out, subscribe, turn on notifications. Down in the comment section, let me know of any audiobooks that you would like me to review for you. I'll listen to them. I may even incorporate some help in listening to the video. I will then post the video and you, wow, I worded that all weird, may even incorporate some help listening to the audiobook. Then I'll post the video and you can take it from there. Now, to the audiobook review. So what was this book about? It was about um, Elsa and her sister Anna. And they are from Disney's movie... Uh, frozen. Frozen. And was it one big long story or a whole bunch of short little stories? A whole bunch of short stories. And did it did it did it just randomly throw stories out there or did it like have it broken up into sections? Well, it kind of like here's a story, here's a story, here's a story. And I could listen to one story and then another and another. They're all different. But didn't it, like, have it broken so it started off with their early years when they were little girls? Yeah. And then it then it had a... And so it kind of grouped the stories together and then it had stories about Olaf, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what was your favorite story? My favorite story was the um, Royal Sleepover. Ah. You know what my favorite story was? I don't remember the name of it, but it was the one where their parents had someone coming to visit and they were running through the castle building freezing snow things. and ice stuff and freezing things and their guests kept going, oh, wow, and they'd run into the... Yeah, that was my favorite one. Mm -hmm. My favorite one? You know why my favorite one was the Royal Sleepover? Hmm. It was because um, they were like, oh, so-and-so did... I'm not really sure. Sven or Kristoff? Kristoff. Kristoff is yeah. the guy. Sven is the reindeer. Okay. Did Sven wake you up? <laughs> he, they say he snores so loud he can cause an avalanche. Ah, well that makes sense. That reindeer would funny. snore. Yes. Uh huh. That one was funny. A lot of them were funny, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did you listen to the whole book all at once, or did you listen to it over a long period of time? I listened to it over a long period of time. Did you tend to do other things while you were listening to it or just listen to the video? I just listened to the video and jumped on the bed. Oh, jumped on the bed while you were doing it. Nice. We won't tell mom about that one, okay? No, no I won't tell mom about that. What did you think of the bed. narrator? You know, <laughs> it was your mom's bed. We definitely won't. Carlina, don't watch the video. You don't want to know about this. So, what did you think of the narrator? I thought it was kind of, it's kind of like, um, he kept going, and, um, this and this and this, sort of, a little. I was kind of wondering why they had a guy be the narrator yeah. instead of a girl. It was Since a girl movie. two of the main characters were girls, yeah, yeah. Or maybe have, like, two narrators, a guy and a girl. I mean, he did a good job, but I think a girl would have been better. Do you agree? Yeah. It's a book for little girls, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think your brothers would enjoy the book? No, I, I don't think so either. Do you know how many stories were in the book? No. Yeah. There were 27 stories. I listened to a lot. You did. And the whole thing. there's 27 stories. Nine of them aren't in the print edition of the book. Hmm. So you have to get the audio book to get those nine bonus stories. What do you think of that? That's cool. Yeah. Were there any stories that you heard that, like, had anything to do with the movie itself? I don't think so. I don't either. Which made it kind of nice, right? Because you already watched the movie. So halfway. So did... Ha oh, you've only seen halfway through the movie? Yeah, because um, uh, my dad said, there's a person too, nobody's watching it. It's like, okay, we're not finishing the and then... Because there's a Frozen 2? 
Yeah, and my dad said, you know, I'll watch it. Well, well we got to listen to Dad, so yeah. interesting. Hmm. Well, I won't spoil it by telling you what happens at the end of the movie then, because maybe when you're older and on your own, you might decide to watch it or you might not. Who knows? Right? Well, like, I watched halfway through it, and then we tried watching another, but it was just standing. Oh. So the bad guy goes to kill Elsa, and Anna runs in front of him and freezes. Well, and that's as far as you got. Well, yeah. Well, you were basically at the end of the movie then. Do you know what happens after that? Well, what happens after that is she freezes, but then that she unfreezes because that was an act of love, what she did for her sister, an act of true mm -hmm. love. So it wasn't that someone had to show true love to her, she could show true love to someone else, and she showed true love to her sister and got unfrozen and returned to normal. And then everybody lived happily ever after. Mm. The bad guy went to jail. The world was all good again. Yeah. And, and, and uh, is it Elsa or... Anna, that is Anna. the one with the powers. Anna has the powers, right? Elsa has the powers. Elsa has the powers. So then Elsa was no longer trying to hide her powers from everyone. She, she went ahead and made a big skating rink for the entire town to skate in in the whole nine Whoa. yards. Yeah. Yeah, but we're talking about an audiobook, not about a movie here. So did were there any parts of the book that you think parents might want to know about before they let their kids listen to them? No. No, nope, I didn't. It's Disney princesses. There better not be anything like that in it. But I do that with all of my videos just in case there's some kind of a surprise in there that parents might want to know about. Do you have anything else that you want to add about this? Mm, no. No? You've said all you want to say about it? All right. Well, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe. Turn on notifications. But most importantly... No matter what else you do today, make sure that today you listen to at least one really good audiobook and both Avelyn and I recommend, you agree with me, you recommend this book, recommend the audiobook, I've got to look at it, Frozen Storybook Collection from the Disney Book Group. Thank you.